एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल कोड कैनवास इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन सेट अप लोकल होस्ट यूजिंग नोट जे एस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड यू नीड टू डाउनलोड नोट जे एस एंड यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फॉर फ्री ऑन नोट जे एस डॉट ओ आर जी वंस यू इंस्टॉल द नोट जे एस इन योर सिस्टम यू कैन चेक You can open that command prompt and check which version of Node.js has been installed in your system. The next step is you need a good code editor. There are various code editors available in the market, but I strongly recommend Visual Studio Code, which I already have installed in my system. You can download on code.visualstudio.com. It is free. Once you have downloaded the Visual Studio Code and Node.js, we can start setting the local host. For that, you need to open a command prompt. Go to the folder where you want to set up the project. There, you need to run npm in it. npm means Node Package Manager, which is used to control the project and other packages using the node here it is asking the package name we can give whatever you want and for now i am just entering the default values so once it is done you can see that packet.json file it is created on my folder let's see for there in that packet.json file so you need to open that folder here So packet.json file contains the package name, the version, and these are the basic details. The next step will be you need to install a browser sync. Browser sync is the npm module which is used to sync the browser and your code. So once you set up the project, whenever you make any change in your code. Let's say in HTML, JS, or CSS, it will sync with the browser. So let's see how you can do that. First of all, we need to install this npm package into our project. For that, we need to use npm install. If we want to use it globally, then we can use iphone g or if you want to save it on your project then we can use hyphen iphone save and we can give the name of this npm package once it is installed you can go to documentation command line and here you will find many options available for this particular node packet manager it will use as a server as well as well you can uh, give the name of the folders which you want to keep watch on as i said once you make any change in html or any of the files it will auto sync with the browser you don't need to reload the page so let's see how it works it will take few moments for example we can use this command browser sync start server 
it will serve the files from this folder okay so for our project let's say let's create one folder named public and in public we will create all the files and other folders for example let's create index.html and create a basic html structure So this is a basic HTML file. So yeah, it's installed. So now let's go back to packet.json and you can see the dependencies for this browser sync module has been added. Now we can use this module for our purpose. Let's copy this command and let's add new script. can give name whatever we want for now I'm giving dev and as we have a public we need to change this name to public what this command will do it will create a server from public folder and it will serve all the files which is there in public folder for this we need to run the command npm run div as we have given the key name is a div so it will start the local server automatically and it will open the html file in the browser so now this is our local server localhost 3000 and this is our HTML file which we have created here we are almost done right so let's see how that browser sync works for example I am adding one new title title 2 and I am saving the HTML file it should automatically reload the browser yep it's there this is another paragraph for example as you can see your browser sync and it will automatically reload the browser it is very useful it will save lots of time for the development when you work in the local host and it will be really nice to work such advanced node packet managers so this is the only simple html i have written for example i need to add one external css file for that i will add a link tag in the link it will have attribute called drill which, which will have a value style sheet and the next will be href the href will be the name of your style file i mean css file you can give whatever name you want let's say style.css this is for the css okay. let's create css file one which we already created in the html file let's say give a color one family for example and font size 40 pixel yep it's working if you see page source you will see the style.css is there right and we can use this style for our uh, all the pages 
in the project the next step will be the script so the script will have the script tag the script will have type tag javascript and src and in src again we will give script dot js or whatever we name we want to give we may need to create new file script dot js and let's say we add console this is console on this file once we run this can't see anything on the browser because this is console and to see the console log you need to open a developer tool and in developer tool you can see the console here this is the console from js file so if you change anything in the js it will reload and it will change the js file as well so this is the basic setup you can create to start the web development i know this is very basic but if you are just starting your web development career or if you are just starting to learn the node js then i think this is the basic you need to know the thing which you need to know is that packet.json file how that files are getting created the scripts how you can add the commands and use the commands for your purpose and how you can serve the static files like html css and javascript you can make changes as per your convenience like you can give one another folder called assets and you can move the css and js file into the other folders and it will auto serve because we have given the folder name as public so whatever files resides in public will be auto serve using this browser sync module so i think that's it for this video if you found this video interesting or if you learn something new please like this video if you want to see more videos on web development css javascript or more advanced topics please subscribe to my channel and also share okay that's all for now see you soon have a good day bye